Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. Please enjoy this video on the Political Voices Network. All right, next set of crimes, classified documents. <laughs> so, so we're all clear where we're moving. Keep your arms and legs inside the crime terrain at all times. Um, in an unexpected move, I need you to break this down for us. Jack Smith is moving to strike a filing from, um, uh, about, from Trump under the Classified Information Procedures Act as part of the uh, in election interference case. It's, exact, it's unclear exactly why Smith is trying to fa- throw out this filing. Uh, Bradley Moss, one of uh, your pals, speculated a possible reason. Um, it, so Empty Wheel asked whether Trump might have improperly included classified information in the filing. Moss said it's possible, certainly would explain why all they could uh, file today was notice that the pleading might been, uh, uh, had been given to the CISO. What, so what is that? What do you think? It's, they're calling it mysterious. It's a mysterious move. What do you think that's about? Yeah, I, I think it's pretty easy to read between the lines. And first of all, Bradley Moss really is a noted expert on all these national security matters. So I'm always thrilled when I'm on air with him because he gets to you know, answer these questions definitively. But, but here's what it is. You don't strike a pleading. You don't move to strike a pleading because it's BS, because it's frivolous, because it's meritless. You move to strike a pleading if there's something in there that should not be disclosed to the public, like classified information or national defense information. That is, I am quite sure. And listen, Trump is doing this intentionally, right? He's trying to to throw sand into the gears. Um, He's trying to occupy Jack Smith's time with this kind of nonsense. Um, So I I suspect it's because he disclosed something in a pleading that he should not have disclosed. But with Judge Luce Cannon, who in the heck knows how she will rule? I still maintain she's going to kill the trial date by death of a thousand continuances. Despicable. Um, So uh, Donald Trump is colicky this morning, Glenn. You should know. He lashed out at Jack Smith, (laughs) claiming uh, the prosecutor leaked a report about Mar-a-Lago employees providing evidence of stolen documents seen at their place of work. Um, a CNN reported a plumber, a maid, a chauffeur, and a woodworker among Mar-a-Lago staffers and contract workers who federal prosecutors may call to testify against Trump. Uh, and so he baby said, uh, you know, be surprised to know fake news. CNN did a story <laughs> leaked by deranged prosecutor Jack Smith and his massive team of radical left lunatics that various people saw papers in boxes in Mar-a-Lago. <laughs> so I don't... <laughs> he said there may have been boxes that were open and plainly brought from the White House, as is my right under the Presidential Records Act. No. No. So he admitted Again, that no. there were boxes from right. out. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes. So, uh, you know, obviously every time he flips out, you know this is, <laughs> we're getting close, right? I mean, clearly. Yeah, I mean. Go ahead. Who, who at Mar-a-Lago hasn't provided incriminating evidence to Jack Smith? You know, in a very <laughs> real sense, who hasn't flipped? You know, it's yeah. not necessarily because they have criminal exposure, But because when they're asked questions, particularly under oath in the grand jury, they tell the truth about Donald Trump's crime. So I think you just rattled off what a a carpenter and a chauffeur and a woodworker and and maybe the butcher, the baker, the candlestick candlestick maker. (laughs) I was just going there. (laughs) Where's the candlestick maker? They've all given incriminating evidence against Donald Trump. And this is why uh, if people believe nothing else about the Trump prosecution, Steph, the minute these things move into court proper and Jack Smith and his team are standing in front of 12 people in a wooden jury box sitting as the conscience of the community. The evidence of Donald Trump's guilt will be so overwhelming that I'm sorry, conviction is a certainty as best I can tell from the evidence. Well, you know who agrees with you is Chris Christie. Uh, and he was talking about why Mark Meadows will, could single-handedly get Trump convicted in, uh, of inciting January 6th. He said in March, uh, Donald Trump, uh, the day before Super Tuesday is going on trial, the first witness against him sitting 20 feet away from him in the courtroom is not going to be some rogue Democrat. It's not going to be some product of a two-tier justice system. It's going to be Mark Meadows, yeah. one of the founders of the Freedom Caucus from North Carolina, one of his chiefs of staff. In fact, the chief of staff, uh, he said, was like James Baker. He's going to be saying in front of a jury that Trump was lying beginning on election night, that he knew he was lying, that he broke laws right in front of him. Donald Trump is going to be convicted. And what uh, that New York Times poll from earlier this week shows you is when he is convicted, of a crime, his support collapses, especially in all the swing states. He was doing well. He will lose every single one of those states to Joe Biden. Um, anyway, he said they're going to see it. They're going to not. In not they're going to not make him our nominee, but we're going to have to fight it all the way to the convention. Well, their political mess is their problem. But let's get to the Chris Christie's. <laughs> he's going to be convicted, yeah. and he's going to jail. <laughs> he, he really is. And you know, once they're in trial, he will be convicted based on testimony provided 
by a chorus of Republican voices. So he can't say these are a bunch of angry Democrats testifying against me. We know that Mark Meadows was given some um, some limited immunity because Jack Smith believed that the incriminating evidence Mark Meadows could provide against Donald Trump was so important that he was willing to give some form of immunity to Mark Meadows to secure yeah. that testimony, to extract that incriminating evidence out of Mark Meadows and put him before the grand jury. So listen, we'll sort out Meadows' culpability later on, yeah. but Donald Trump will be convicted, as you say, by his chief of staff, by his attorney general, by his agency heads, and potentially by his own daughter. Let's not forget, <laughs> yeah. Ivanka Trump testified to the January 6th committee that I believe Bill Barr, when he says there was no election interference undermining yeah. the election's results, I don't believe my father. She may actually end up as a prosecution witness against her own father. Yeah. Oh, ruthlessly absurd. Uh, and also that leads us strictly to the New York fraud trial. Uh, you said with New York's, uh, with Trump's New York fraud trial devol devolving into, I don't recall Palooza, I have one question. How is it so many alleged business people, Donald Trump, Ivanka, Don Jr., Eric, can't remember anything about the business they purportedly conducted? Is there a condition known as Trumpnesia? Uh. I don't know if that's a legal <laughs> thing, but, uh, but you said... Um, is Vanka the most dangerous witness to the Trump family, specifically in the fraud, the fraud trial? I heard one analyst call it like low-key snitching because she basically served as a conduit to get these damning documents in, and she didn't dispute any of them, right? As many, so it's kind right. of irrelevant she, what she, she remembers. Fell, she fell, she fell back on dozens of answers. Right. I don't remember. I don't right. recall none of which Judge Enboron is believing. She, by all accounts, has a pretty darn good memory for business. So, you know, she took the easy way out. But here's the thing, Steph, what people should remember is they lost this case early on on the liability front when Judge and Goron found that they had committed fraud. And now we're kind of in the penalty phase. And think about this. Judge and Goron found them liable, found that they engaged in business fraud based on these same documents. So it really doesn't matter that all of the Trumps have Trumpnesia or liabilities or whatever they're <laughs> suffering <laughs> from. Yeah. It, it really doesn't matter because the documents are what they yeah. are. The documents don't lie. The documents don't forget. The yeah. documents don't curry right. favor with one party or another. So they will be made to, to pay a big fat fine to disgorge yeah. their ill-gotten gains. Yeah. And they will be, in my opinion, prohibited from doing business in New York in the future. Whee! You are a delight, sir. Um, let's. <laughs> um, the headline here is Trump will probably go back on the witness stand in the fraud trial. Here's why. An article about that. And Trump wants to call 127 witnesses in the New York fraud trial. So this turns to yeah. his quote unquote defense next week. Correct? Um, yeah, he'll 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 call a handful of witnesses. But here's what I want everybody to keep an eye out for: when they put Trump and Don Jr. and and Eric and and I don't know if they'll put Ivanka back on in their case. Let's see how many times they fail to remember something or let's see if they have this remarkable clarity yeah. about everything that Trump's lawyers are asking them to testify about. Yeah. Um, yeah. Somebody, uh, uh, Lisa Rubin, your friend, um, said they may be called again next week on balance. He said it was a bad it was bad for the Trump fan. But, but I will caveat saying we expect uh, three of those four Trumps to come back. Don Jr. and Eric will be witnesses for their father. I suspect the former president will be back as well. So I seems to me like he just hurts himself more every time, you know, he he, uh, he speaks. Right. Yeah, he's not playing to the judge. He's playing to his base and he will continue to do so because he knows He's already lost this case, yeah. so he just wants to keep the grift of his base going as long as he can. Quickly, Minnesota Supreme Court refusing to bar Trump from the primary ballot. Uh, Michigan, meanwhile, stands ready to ban Trump from the ballot for insurrection, according to uh, the court there. What, what, where do you think we're at with this, the 14th Amendment? Yeah, I think some of the judges, probably in Colorado, maybe in Michigan, will rule that he is disqualified from serving in office again because he engaged in insurrection. And the Minnesota... Uh, ruling is not that ominous because it was a ruling without prejudice. In other words, the judge said, look, I'm not going to bar him from the primary, but come back and talk to me right. if he ends up the general election candidate. So yeah. this is really more, more of a procedural loss than a substantive loss. All right. I think for America, uh, you ought to uh, move in with me for the rest of oh until, 
Just until the election. What about Mrs. You know what? Or Nicole Wallace and his wife and Stephanie Rule just have to suck it. Um, because <laughs> I need you every day, all the time. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you, honey. See you. Love you, Steph. See you, guys. Love you, too. There it is, my first drink of the day, Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic. Many of you know my, my story. I stopped drinking wine for three years during COVID, during the lockdown as part of a health reset. Now I drink wine in moderation, but this is an amazing new product. I've always believed in probiotics and Z-Biotics. Check this out. You drink just one of these. It's the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. I am using using this and I feel great in the morning. I don't have to worry if I have an extra glass of wine, I still feel great in the morning. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. I've always had acid reflux problems. It is this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. All I know is it works. It is Zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic. Go to zbiotics.com/political voices or scan the QR code on the screen right now.